everybody, Travis here with LNL Lines where you can watch, decide, and buy. Wanted to show you guys a demonstration on the Eden equipment, the System 3 conversion kits for the Stay Right filters. There's two sizes, as you're aware of. There's the S7M120, which is a smaller one. And in that case, the conversion would only be three filters. And then there's the S8M150, which is what this is, is the bigger one. And the whole concept is you go from two big, heavy, uh, standard OEM filters to three with the S7120 or four with the S8150. Uh, smaller filters, better quality, better flow, easier to clean without losing any filtration area at all. It's exactly the same filtration area, but instead of dealing with two, two big, heavy, bulky filters, and the quality is, you know, average. These are much, much better filters, much easier to clean, better flow. The Excel filters are explained in, a, in another video, so check it out. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pull these out of this S8M150. And we're going to put the System 3 conversion kit by Eden Equipment. And we get that far, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys where we're at with it. Um, right now, if I turn the pump on... Just to give us an idea of flow. Now obviously we're running a Polaris uh, caretaker system here. So the, the pressure is going to fluctuate. Obviously when it's in between stations. So at that station where well, there's, there's changing stations. Uh, we'll just see where it kind of locks in. But as you guys know that can change from station to station depending on the orifices. But it looks like we're about 22, 23 right in there. So anyway. We'll get this going for you guys, and then uh, we'll show you where we're at in between, and then we'll show you a final. And um, Travis here with LNL Lines. We can watch this side and buy. Right, Check guys, Travis out. here with LNL Lines. Got the uh, S8M150 filter cartridges out, so we're going to be converting from that to that same filtration area. Just four smaller cartridges, more manageable, better quality, better flow, better cleaning, more energy efficient, on and on and on. And uh, you guys have been laughing your ass off i was squeaking like a little girl when i had to pull those things out because as we know they can get heavy and uh you know you can't get your footing just right and you're leaning over and so anyway that's the whole point so we'll get this assembled in the new tank or these assembled in the old tank and uh we'll take another shot at it and then we'll get it started up okay this here we go guys the conversion it was really, really snug, which is good because uh, I was concerned if there was going to be gaps, you know, where the fitting slid over the uh, uh, the male part of the filters where the O-rings are, the bushings, the gaskets. So it went on there nice and snug. The support legs are at the base of the tank. It's all good. The air assembly tubing comes up through here. And now we've got the threaded filters. That's right, they're threaded. They're not a push-on. You can see right here they thread on. I mean, how cool is that? So, uh, we'll get those assembled, get them screwed in there. All right, there we are, guys. That's what it looks like when they're assembled into the tank. And uh, I can just uh, imagine when the time comes to clean these again, how much nicer that is to look at that as far as lugging that, because I actually have to lug those to my truck all the way up through there. And then there's a big wall I got to jump, so... Anyway, that's the whole point of this demonstration is to show, uh, again, how this is a good setup. It's a good system, works really well. There's a way to get the same filtration easier with a lot less, you know, labor. Much more efficient to uh, clean and maintain. Okay, everybody, here we go. Got the filters in and uh, actually ran into some problems. And I remembered real quickly why we all don't like these filters. Um, Made a mess out of things carrying them back. They're heavy. Uh, but when I took the filters out, the filter moved slightly, so then I couldn't get the Patera and Telechlor unions to seat just right, so I had to kind of readjust things and figure that out. But anyway, there's our pressure now. Uh, looks like we're at 1819 at the peak. Yeah, I'm just going to hold it here for a second and see if we're in between stations or if it's actually going to... Yeah, it looks like it's dropping now, so. Where is it? 
Well, anyway, it looks like that's locked in on a station about 18 or so. So, anyway, and then I flushed out the uh, the screen here because obviously when you clean the filters, a lot of debris gets in the pipes, and then when you turn it on right away, the first thing it does is it goes to the screen and plugs this up right away. So, anyway, that's uh, we got it all converted out, and I'm just trying to catch this. There it goes. There it's going down. So yeah, we're at about. I think 18 or so peak versus 22, 23 that we were before. Yeah, right about 18 right there. So, okay. So anyway, it's all done. Uh, we'll we'll let this run for three to six months. We'll just keep an eye on it. When we take it apart and clean it, we'll have another video. So this is uh, Travis with Helena Lines, where you can watch the side and buy. Check the description below for more information. Check it out. See you guys later.